Hi friends, I'm Jenny, children's librarian from Community Library of DeWitt in Jamesville, and today I'm sharing my favorite homemade Play-Doh recipe with you. Uh, this is a simple recipe that is easy to make with kids. Um, it requires uh, simple pantry ingredients that hopefully you have in your cupboards, and it's just a lot of fun. Um, Play-Doh is a great material for kids to play with, and it's great for kids of all ages. I think a lot of times people just think Play-Doh is for toddlers and preschoolers, but a lot can be done with Play-Doh, um, even with, with older children. And why Play-Doh is so great is that um, it enhances fine motor skills, it helps children with their hand-eye coordination, it increases their curiosity and knowledge about the world and how things work. Kids can really express their creativity and imagination. Um, Play-Doh is also a great thing to do if you're looking to do some sort of um, STEM programming with your kids because a lot of building and engineering can start with a simple batch of Play-Doh. It's also a lot of fun. Kids can develop social skills while playing with Play-Doh. Um, it also improves their pre-rating skills. So there's a lot of benefits um, for children to play with Play-Doh. In Play-Doh, there's a lot of variety of recipes. If you go on online or on Pinterest, you will see so many versions. Uh, there's cooked versions, uncooked. There's ones that have glitter, ones that are scented. I've seen some that have um, tactile materials in them to make it more of a sensory experience. But today we're gonna to do a very simple cooked version. And the recipe that I really, really love is from Tinker Lab. And this recipe is also available online and we'll put a link to it at the, at the bottom of the comments. Um, the reason I like this recipe, and this is, this is the one that I use uh, if you've come to my story times or my sensory play, usually I'll have Play-Doh out for the kids to use and, and play. Uh, this is the recipe that I use, mainly because it makes a humongous batch and it lasts for months if it's kept in a sealed container. So today I'm gonna to be doing a halved recipe, the full quantity version of this. I think you would only need to make that if you had a house full of like a class full of preschoolers, but if you only have, you know, your kids um, in the house, a half version is plenty, believe me. It makes, it makes a lot. And I love the texture of this particular Play-Doh. It's very soft and pliant. It just feels really good and um, it's a lot of fun. So enough of me talking, let's get cooking. Here are the ingredients that you will need to make your own Play-Doh at home. Two and a half cups of water, one and a quarter cup of salt, one and a half tablespoons of cream of tartar, five tablespoons vegetable oil, two and a half cups of flour, and food coloring, either gel or liquid. Hopefully you have all of these in your pantry. Okay, so the next step is to combine all of the ingredients into a um, pot, and you're gonna put it on the stove um, on low heat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook our play-doh until it kind of comes together. You're going to want to keep stirring your dough frequently and what you will notice will happen is the sides and the bottom of the pan it will start appearing kind of dry and that's how you know your play-doh is coming together. We are so close. <laughs> I try to hold the handle while I stir. This is thick. But this is kind of what you want it to be. See how it's pulling? It pulls where it's hard to do with one hand. Pulls away from the sides of the of the um of the pot. That is what you want. Okay, so our play-doh is finished cooking and it is ready. Um, you can see that it's a big ball of dough. Um, it's come away completely from the sides of the pan and the bottom. And a good trick to tell that it's done is just come in here and pinch a little bit of dough off with your fingers. And if it's not gooey and easily rolls off your finger like that did, then you know that your dough is done cooking. Okay, so after you are finished cooking your dough, you are going to dump it out onto a counter or a board, something that um, you don't mind getting stained because we're gonna do the fun part next, which is kneading and adding the coloring. 
Okay, now comes the kneading part, and I'm gonna try this one-handed I make, no promises, but kneading dough is pretty easy. You basically just wanna work it with your hands. You wanna flip and rotate. Okay, our Play-Doh is all kneaded, and it looks beautiful. This is the um, texture that you want. So I decided for my batch of Play-Doh, we're going to do six different colors. So I divided my dough evenly into six pieces, as you see here. Okay, here comes the fun part, coloring. Now you can use whatever kind of um, food dye that you have. I um, have a preference for um, the Wilton gel icing. So this part can get messy, but just like we needed the dough when we took it out of the pan, we are going to basically knead the color into the dough. The first color we're doing is red. So I added red into the middle of the dough, and I'm just going to keep kneading it in until our dough turns the shade that I would like. And like I said, this can be messy, so I would recommend wearing gloves. I am not. I'm sure that I will regret that decision later, but c'est la vie. So we're just going to go with it. Here's our final product. Six different colors of Play-Doh. As you can see, I repeated the first uh, process of the red with the uh, five remaining colors. This recipe, as I said, was pretty easy to make from start to finish. It took about maybe 10, 15 minutes. And now you have a wonderful product that your kids can play with. I hope that you give this recipe a try. Take pictures and share them with us. We would love to see what you guys are up to at home, what you're making. I hope that you are all staying safe and healthy. And I look forward to seeing you soon when the library reopens. Bye everyone.